In this video, we're going to learn how to crochet the seedling stitch to make my crochet seedling blanket. This blanket is the first in a series that I'm calling Books and Blankets, um, crochet blankets that are based on some favorite children's books. This one is called I Have a Little Seedling. It's really cute. You'll find the link to that book um, in the description box below. But looking at this crochet blanket, it's going to use something called the seedling stitch. This is a stitch um, that's really simple. It's a variation of front and back post double crochets. It's got a nice straight edge on this blanket and I'll teach you how to do that. The front and back are kind of the same, so it's a reversible project. This stitch can be used for all different kinds of projects, but I've used it to make just a simple baby blanket. I'm going to be using Lion Brand's Touch of Cashmere yarn. It's a number four weight worsted yarn. It has 219 yards per 100 grams, so if you're going to substitute for a different worsted weight yarn, try to find something similar to that. I'm going to be using the colorway Portobello. It's a nice kind of earthy, grayish taupe color that's really pretty for this seedling style project. This is an easy number two level pattern. It's not beginner, but if you know how to double crochet, you should be able to follow along with this tutorial. It might take a little practice to get your tension nice, but it's really not too complicated. Here's the bottom where I did my foundation chain and then started working the pattern. I'm gonna be using a J or 10 six millimeter crochet hook. I'll link this one below as well. Going ahead and getting started, I'm gonna do a chain of 10. You can do any multiple of two. If you look at the written pattern, you'll see that there's lots of sizes included in this pattern, actually 12 finished sizes. So chain two additional for your turning chain, skip those, and then double crochet in the third chain from your hook. No matter how many chains you start with, you're always going to double crochet in the third chain from your hook. And then we're just gonna double crochet all the way down once in each stitch, um, and that's row one. Just regular double crochets before we get going in our uh, two row repeat for this pattern. So once you've double crocheted all the way down your row, you should have whatever multiple of two that you picked. Mine was 10 just for this little uh, small tutorial for the stitch. Um, I should have 10 double crochets here. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Now starts the two row repeat. So this is row two, the wrong side, the back side. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch, regular single crochet. And that is what's going to keep our nice straight edge to our blanket um, by single crocheting at the beginning of each row. I know it sounds strange with all these double crochets, but just trust me. The next stitch is going to get a front post double crochet. So we're going to work around the post of the stitch, not the top of the stitch. Front post double crochet. If you've never worked a stitch like that before, I do urge you to search on YouTube or Google for what a front post and back post double crochet are. You can find much slower, more in-depth tutorials. The next stitch is going to be a back post double crochet. So, so far in this row, we've done a single crochet, a front post, and then a back post double crochet. You can see that there. And then you're just going to keep repeating front and back post double crochets alternating all the way down. So for my uh, little sample here, I have 10 stitches in each row. The first stitch was a single crochet. Spoiler alert, the last stitch is going to be a single crochet as well. So that means I have eight stitches in between. I should be alternating front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. So that's four sets of that front back post repeat. All of this is written out as well in the written pattern that's free on my blog. There's also a downloadable printable PDF um, that's inexpensive that's linked on my Etsy. Uh, through that blog post, so you'll find lots and lots more written information there. This is kind of just more a visual aid to go with the pattern. Um, so you won't find all the numbers and sizes and yardage and all of that here in this video, but you will find that in a very easy to read um, kind of table format uh, in the linked pattern. So even if you're not super proficient at reading patterns, this video along with that explanation and that kind of table format should help you out and make a great blanket. Okay, so I've finished my repeats front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, and now I have one stitch left in my row. So I've worked nine stitches up until this point. My last stitch was a back post double crochet. That's right. I finished my 
repeats of front and back. And then that very last stitch in the row, like I said, is gonna be a regular single crochet. Okay, so you can see here that I have a lot of like texture going on. The front post double crochets are sitting toward the front of the work. Back posts are sitting toward the back. Um, it should look very like rough and bumpy at this point. So we're right on track. Row three, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. Row three is very similar to row two. We're gonna begin with a single crochet. The only thing different we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with a back post double crochet. So what I'm looking at here um, is kind of sitting toward the front as I'm looking at it. So I want to alternate those front and back post double crochets. So I'm gonna work a back post double crochet around this stitch. And that's gonna make that kind of like woven kind of basket weave effect in the finished product. So I just did my back post double crochet, now I'm going to front post double crochet, and then I'm gonna continue alternating that all the way down. So just to recap in this row so far, row three, I've begun with a single crochet, I've worked a back post double crochet to begin with, and then a front post, and then I'm gonna keep alternating back, front, back, front, back, front, all the way down until I have one stitch left in my row. This is row three. From here on out, you're gonna just be repeating rows two and three. You can kind of start to see that woven effect uh, starting to take place there. This will make even clearer uh, sense once you do it yourself and you're looking at it and holding it in your hands. Um, like I said, we're gonna keep repeating rows two and three, moving forward, just alternating. Uh, once you get the hang of this, you won't even have to really count or remember what row you're on. You're just going to be able to look at your work. You can pick it up and put it down uh, and just be able to see that if the stitch you're looking at, whatever is stitch is next in your row, even if you put it down in the middle of a row, you can see that if a stitch is sitting forward as you're looking at it, you need to work a back post double crochet next, if that makes sense, so that you get that woven kind of interlocking effect. So row three should end with a front post double crochet before we work our final stitch of the row, which is a regular single crochet. Again, we can start to see that woven interlocking look. I call this stitch the seedling stitch because it looks sort of like knitted seed stitch to me. Um, that kind of like really textural, pretty delicate, woven look. It's a very thick stitch. It does use a lot of yarn, unfortunately, so this is a great stash buster project. You can see here that those edges are looking nice and straight. They're not ruffling. Uh, I did try this with a chain two instead of a chain one on the ends and with double crochets, and it was really ruffly and strange. Here I've worked the next two rows, so I've repeated rows two and three once more, and you can see that it's really starting to take shape. As you do a full-size blanket and as you work through this, it'll look even better and even tighter and more uh, streamlined. I hope you enjoyed this crochet seedling stitch. Make sure to check out the written pattern. Thanks. See you next time.